All right, guys, as you guys know, I've been a really, really big 3D fan for a long time. I have a 3D projector over there with 3D movies. I have the PlayStation 3D TV for PlayStation 3 where I play some 3D games on it. And I used to be a big advocate of the NVIDIA 3D Vision that was for PCs. Unfortunately, um, you know, it, it's been around for a long time, but it actually got canceled or not being worked on anymore by NVIDIA, not being supported by them. As of April 2020, they don't do any more fixes or anything. And last year, they actually stopped it being incorporated into any of the current drivers so i got reinterested in 3d once i got that playstation 3d tv a couple of months ago and i was like oh i really want to get back into 3d gaming on the pc see how it's being developed see how it's being worked on and found all this out about it not being longer no longer supported by nvidia luckily though the community of 3d is still big and there's a lot of people still working on 3d fixes and i wanted to see how that actually was working out so i did some improvements on my pc on how i actually set up 3d i got a 3d monitor got it all set up and I have some reports to make on how these games are actually working now today and how this is even working on newer games like Mortal Kombat 11. So even though Nvidia is not supporting this anymore, is 3D Vision on the gaming computers dead for all of us? Let's dive in and take a look. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming techie is the gaming tech, gaming techie. All right guys, so today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about 3D Vision. So. For those of you guys who aren't aware, this technology actually existed uh, over five years ago uh, when I first got into it, where NVIDIA came out and they basically created the version uh, 1.0 of 3D Vision. Basically, you would buy a specific monitor for your PC. Um, this is when 3D was all the craze, you know, with people buying it on Blu-rays and stuff. And they came out with it so you can use it with your PC games and you can watch Blu-rays on there in 3D on your computer. And But you would need specific monitors for it. The monitor would have to have either a emitter on the top that was sometimes built into the monitor. Or they would sell you a 3D vision kit uh, that came with these glasses here in front of me. And also a little 3D emitter box that I'll show you here in a little bit. And that is basically how you got 3D in the game. And each game unfortunately would have to be supported even though inherently pc games already in 3d so most of the time even if you played a game that wasn't technically supported you would still see it in 3d because the game already had it built in but if it wasn't optimized for it you know things would not show correctly in 3d the objects may not be produced correctly uh, especially shadows shadows are the biggest problem in the game with shadows not casting correctly in 3d so it wouldn't be a good experience most of the time if the game wasn't optimized and 3D vision ready so they gave each game a rating it would either be 3D vision ready which is their highest quality or excellent or very good or good things like that and going down the list and this started a long time ago and unfortunately last year Nvidia announced that as of April 2020 they would not be supporting 3D vision in any drivers any or they wouldn't be supporting 3D vision at all anymore as of last year in any more current drivers and also as of April 2020 this year they wouldn't be updating that driver anymore that they said they would stop um, last year. So we're stuck with using drivers that were from 4.25 uh, from last year, which is the last NVIDIA supported driver with the 3D Vision uh, you know, software that was inside of it that needed to be in there for it to work. So I only found out about this recently that this all went down last year because I'm a big, big 3D fan. Uh, everybody who watches this channel knows that I'm a huge 3D fan. Everybody who knows me knows I'm a huge 3D fan. I have a 3D projector over there with a bunch of Blu-rays in 3D that I still actively buy. They're still actively being sold most of the time outside the U.S. on English language. Luckily, Blu-rays you can use on whatever you know Blu-ray device you want. Um, there's no region lock in any of that stuff. And I even have a, a monitor over there uh, that I have shown off before, the PlayStation 3D monitor that I use on my PlayStation 3 to play those 3D games. And I was a big advocate for these for these um, monitors back when they came out over five years ago. I had the Vision 1 uh, when they came out, and I had Vision 2 as well when it came out, and I loved every minute of it. Um, but games became harder and harder to support. Uh, they weren't actively working with newer games and stuff like that. So... And the monitors, you know, didn't keep up with the times as far as being 1440p and 4K and, uh, you know, having the, meg the, the um, you know, just the screen quality of what we have today. Uh, because obviously monitors aren't being actively made anymore as of, I think, last year or the year before. Um, so I got rid of that monitor like two years ago, wasn't really using it anymore, and I gave up on it completely. Um, I started looking into it again this year because, again, I'm a really big 3D fan, and I started missing it, basically. I remember loving 3D games on the PC, and when I started playing it, when I got this monitor for the PlayStation a couple of months ago, it reminded me how awesome 3D gaming is. And that's what I really wanted to advocate here, that 3D gaming is awesome. 
Uh, it's unfortunately not well, obviously something that's being pursued anymore, but stay tuned because there is a way to get it working even with current games like Mortal Kombat 11 and things like that. Um, but when I got that monitor and I saw it on PlayStation 3, I was already excited, but I was like, damn, imagine how much better these games could be if I had my 3D monitor back on PC. I started looking into it, found out about the drivers no longer being supported and how much of a hassle it would be. And, and obviously, as somebody who has VR, um, I can't use my current operating system with Windows 10 um, with old drivers because then, you know, my then I'll be dealing with issues with my VR headset not working correctly because it's not updated. You know, it'd be a year behind on driver updates and other games like that. So I was like, all right, what do I need to do to fix this? So I have a solution. I want to show you guys exactly what my setup is like and what you guys need to actually get to get this working on your system and why it's freaking awesome. So, but before we dive into that real quick, I wanted to show you guys these glasses here. So Vision 1.0 was the first one that came out and these are the glasses that came out. These are, uh, they did have a battery one that you had to replace the battery. Don't get that version of the glasses. This is a uh, rechargeable ones. So this is Vision 1. Um, these are the glasses and this is Vision 2. So these glasses are nicer. Uh, they have a wider view. Uh, so it lets more light in. Uh, but they only work, they work comparably with both monitors, but it's designed for the Vision 2 monitors. And the biggest difference between Vision 1 monitors and Vision 2 was that Vision 2, uh, with the light boost technology that they were doing, I was letting in more light so the scenes weren't as dark. And Vision 1, when you played 3D, since the scenes had to be done in a certain way, the monitor would be a lot darker than what people are used to when they play games. So Vision 2 corrected that, and that's the monitor I have going, a Vision 2 monitor that we're talking about here in a minute. So... These are the two different glasses that you can use with 3D vision. So let's go ahead now and let's go to my computer real quick. I want to show you guys how I had this set up. So if you guys are interested in 3D vision, you guys know exactly what to look for and how to actually set this up on your PC so you won't have any issues and what software I'm using to get this to even work on newer games. Because luckily for us, even though NVIDIA stopped supporting this last year and now in 2020 with no more uh, fixes on that driver that stopped last year, Luckily, there's an active community of 3D, 3D gamers that love 3D that are now pursuing this and doing active fixes for games when they can. And, you know, putting this out there in newer games like Mortal Kombat 11 and stuff, which I will be showing you guys here in a minute. So, let's go ahead and get to the computer side. Let me show you exactly how this setup works. Alright guys, so here you are with my 3D monitor. So, my 3D monitor is this one on the right. This is my 4K monitor on the left. So, this 3D monitor is actually really beneficial for two reasons because not only is this a probably the best 3d monitor that ever got released for the nvidia vision uh system but it's also one of the best gaming monitors you can buy because this is the asus rog monitor and is the pg 278 qr monitor from them and it has every gaming feature that most gamers would want right now on pc and has one millisecond response time it has nvidia g-sync built in it has uh 165 uh, refresh rate overclocked so that's 144 standard 165 overclocked and it works perfectly that way which is what I've been using on and it's a 1440p monitor which is still the sweet spot for a lot of gamers uh, you know that want to play that way so basically how I do it when I want to play 3d games I basically use this right monitor here and when I want to play um, any shooters or anything like that that requires those fast refresh rates I play it on this monitor as well uh, when I want to play anything that's story-based or anything that doesn't matter as much, I play it on the 4K monitor here for those higher quality visuals. So, this is my regular Vision, uh, my regular Windows desktop. I'm going to show you how I set this up for Vision because, like I told you, in 3D, you're not able to um, you're not able to use the current drivers of the 3D Vision because they're using the drivers, you know, from last year. Um, we can't use the current drivers. So, in an effort to not mess up my current games that are always coming out, and of course, somebody who uses VR and stuff. I decided to create two different uh, partitions on my drive. So basically, I have a SSD that's dedicated to my Windows 10 operating system. That's the one you just saw, which is for all my uh, VR gaming and you know regular PC games, not 3D related. So that's my SSD. I have a, a drive dedicated just for that. Then I also have uh, another partition, another different operating system that is just for 3D games, which is what we're booting up into right now. So I'm restarting my computer. This is how I would boot up my computer every morning uh, when I want to use it. And we're going to get here to it in a minute to the screen 
that allows me to choose whichever option I want to log into. So you can see here, I get here and it says choose an operating system. So I could do the main Windows 10 OS, which is what I just talked about before, which is my main operating system with my regular games. But then there's Windows 10 3D Vision, which is what I named the 3D Vision one. So this is going to bring me into Windows 10, but it's a separate OS that doesn't have, uh, that has the old graphics driver from NVIDIA installed with all the 3D games I also have installed ready to go. Um, and that makes it an easy way to keep my things separate like they need to. So we're logging into it right now. You can see we're right in here into the Windows 10 operating system. Um, this is now running off the NVIDIA driver that needs to be on here to actually get this working. Um, so you can see here, uh, you know, it's just regular Windows 10, of course. Uh, Steam is obviously trying to update like it usually does when it boots up. And what I wanted to show you guys here is something really important. So first of all, if you want to get this running on your PC, you basically install Windows 10. And as soon as you get Windows 10 installed, you basically have to download um, the drivers. And the first thing I would download is something called 3D Fixes. So that is a community tool that's being used um, to, to update all these games and to do these fixes that we're talking about here. So if I open up 3D Fix Manager, and here is basically the application here. So this application basically makes it super, super simple for you to get set up. Obviously, I already set mine up, so you're not seeing the exact same thing. But basically, as soon as you launch this and you download it, it's going to tell you that you need to update the drivers to the one that it does. It literally downloads the drivers for you, installs the drivers for you, sets them up the way you need to. Then you just come over here, you turn on 3D, and that's it. The 3D is enabled. It enables what it needs to. It downloads any other software that it needs, and you're basically good to go. Um, and then you just start downloading games from your Steam account that, you know, support 3D or anything like that. And as you download them from Steam or wherever you're downloading them from, they will show up on this list here. These are all the games that I have installed, you know, from my platform. So, for example, Alan Wake, um, Batman, the Batman Arkham series, stuff like that. And basically when you click on them, you'll see a little button here that says install. Install 3D Fix. You hit the install button. You hit the install button. It gives you a little bit of information on what the fix is doing here. You hit install and you're good to go. You either launch it from Steam or you can actually launch it right here if you want to and play it in 3D right from here. And it starts in 3D. And that's basically all there is to it with this application. It makes it an easy way, instead of you looking for these 3D fixes all over the place, and puts them in all imaginable space, imaginable space that you can just go in here and download them really easily and really quickly. And you don't have to put them in specific folders or anything. It just puts them in the place that it needs to and you're done. And... Um, all, there's a lot of games on here. If you look at this gigantic list I'm scrolling through, these are all the games that are supported in, in this application that have 3D fixes. But also as well, if you open up the NVIDIA control panel, um, if you come into here, the NVIDIA control panel also may have more games. These are not all the supported games on the 3D fix manager. These are just all the ones that have fixes. That doesn't necessarily mean that every single game is on this list. So if you come into here, uh, Stereo Stopic 3D that's going to be in the NVIDIA control panel now. These are all the ratings for every single uh, game that's technically supported in 3D Vision. So I use both of these. I use the 3D Vision one to see what game is on there and seeing if the game is listed in here to see if the game is actually compatible. And these are all the games that are listed here as well. So you can see they all have a rating. So it's a good way to look at both to see what's actually supported and what isn't. Um, the best games to play in 3D Vision that I've come across so far, the whole Batman series looks outstanding. Uh, you know, 3D, uh, the Street Fighter series looks outstanding. You know, all those games look really, really good on here. And this is not just not, you know, it didn't stop working last year. This is still actively being worked on by the community. And there's new games being added to this that are still working. For example, Street Fighter V still or works on it. Uh, Ukulele uh, works on it, the, the 3D platformer on the PC. Um, you know, Overcooked 2 works on it. Let's see what else we got in here. GTA V works on it, even though that's an older game, but it works on it. Um... Let's see, Jedi Fallen Order got work, got um, worked on and got made on it and looks really, really good. You know, Witcher 3 is still on there. Uh, Wreckfest is on there. There's just really, uh, really good games on here. Mortal Kombat 11 even, is even on here and looks outstanding in 3D. Um, and it, it, it's just so much fun to play in 3D. Um, and it, obviously, I can't really show you a game running in 3D because all you're going to see is fuzzy background. There's no point in me starting a game in 3D because all you're going to see is nothing. You're going to see me playing in 3D with these glasses here, and you're going to be like, what the hell is he doing? Because you can't see anything but a fuzzy picture. So there's no really any use for me to start that. But this is just a quick tutorial on what you guys need to get set up and how you guys actually need this. Of course, if you have any questions, you can always leave them down below. But this is how I have it set up. Um, and I love gaming on here in 3D. It really adds a whole new experience to 
to what these games can do. Like I said, there's a lot of games that this thing works with and, and a lot of games you guys can get. So um, let's get to the table and let's discuss a little bit about my last final thoughts of what I think about 3D gaming on PC. And that, guys, is basically, in a nutshell, 3D vision uh, on my computer and how I actually have it working. If you guys aren't already aware, I'm a really, really big fan of this. I was when it came out, and I'm a really big fan of it now. I'm surprised on how well this is actually working on uh, the, you know, the, the software that I showed you guys that the community is developing and the new games that it works with. Almost every game that I tried, uh, minus like under 10 games out of like over 50 that I tried, all worked without any issues. I popped it in uh, with the fixes of that program, got in there and got it to work. It didn't do any issues. I got in there, played 3D, and that was it. I was in there in 3D gaming. And I haven't played 3D in a long time on the, on the computer. And I was impressed then, and I got re-impressed now with some of the newer games I tried. Mortal Kombat 11 in 3D, amazing. Uh, Ukulele, amazing in 3D. Really were, makes me want to play that game. There's so many good games that were released in 3D and are still being actively worked on now that are really good. You know, GTA 5 is even th in 3D and it actually looks pretty good in there as well. There's so many good 3D games and obviously this is something that I can't really show on screen, unfortunately. It's something you got to experience for yourself. But when you play games in 3D, it is really hard to go back. Um, it it's kind of the same way I feel about VR. Once you play VR, you want everything to be in VR. And... I do want everything to be in VR, but I naturally know that there's going to be games that are in 2D forever. But, for example, Ori and the, Bl Ori and the Will of Lewis came out, and that's also in 3D. If you guys play the original and this game in 3D of Ori, you are going to be mind-blown at how good that game looks. And I would never want to play that game again in 2D. Playing that on my 4K 2D TV is nothing like playing this on my 1440p t uh, monitor that I showed you that I'm using in 3D. It's just not comparable. I'd play the 3D version every single time. And, and that's not me being, being a 3D fanboy or anything like that. That's just, I have a 4K TV. I have multiple of them. And I have the 3D device here in front of me. I have the option of playing those in either fashion. And I choose to play it in 3D because it just is so much more immersive in 3D. The depth and stuff and the graphic quality is still there. And it just looks really, really good. And now obviously... It just looks fantastic. And going back to playing the older 3D games that I was playing before, now with a, a graphics card like a 1080 Ti that lets me crank up all those settings to 1440p on this monitor that I have up until 120 hertz is even more of an amazing experience now than it was back then uh, because of the horsepower we have now. So guys, do yourself a favor. If you haven't tried any version of 3D gaming on a PC, try it out. Try Street Fighter. It looks amazing in 3D. Try Ori and the Blind Forest. Try all the top quality 3D vision games that I showed you guys there on the computer um, and try them out for yourself and see what you guys think. Um, and if you guys have any questions about anything I talked about, how to get it to work, what you guys want to know about what to buy or anything like that that I may have missed on this video, definitely shoot your questions down below. I'll be, do I'll be doing my best to answer any questions you guys have. Uh, I hope that the community keeps working on 3D fixes. Uh, I know that if games, I know the problem that we have now uh, with the community and, and making games compatible is that if they're exclusively made in DX12 only, it's really, really hard to almost impossible to get them to work right now. Luckily, most games are still being released with the options of both DX12 and DX11, so you just choose DX11 and you're good. But some of the games are being released at DX12 only, and those games, uh, there's no way to get that to work right now. So, um, so yeah, guys, if you have any questions about anything we talked about or anything you guys want to know about this, leave your questions down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time. Tech, gaming tech, he is the gaming tech, gaming techie, gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming tech, he is the gaming tech, gaming techie.